Mike Gary from the Press of Atlantic City. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Sully, how are you this morning? We got a great show going on. Don't mess it up. <laughs> All right, I'll try to keep the momentum going here. You, know. you got a couple Diet Cokes in you? You ready to rock? I'm, I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> yeah, a couple interesting interviews so far. Uh, I guess uh, right off the bat, I want to talk a little bit about Kylie Watson. Obviously, you know her well. You did a nice story about her before she even stepped on the court at Mainland. And uh, she's come such a long way in about six, seven months. Yeah, I mean, she's kind of uh, been a person, like you said, we, we did a story on her before she even played a high school uh, basketball game, kind of meet the, uh, the uh, 13, 14-year-old girl from Linwood who was attracting attention from or getting scholarship offers from Division One schools before she even played a high school game. I think that was the headline, and she's kind of lived up to those expectations, which is not easy to do, you know, obviously – a great experience being on the USA under-16 team, winning a gold medal at the Fibers uh, America's Championship down in Argentina. And uh, it, it's just neat that, you know, there were only 12 girls on the uh, U-16 team, and, and one of them was from Linwood, New Jersey, in the heart of the Cape Atlantic League. And, you know, that's just a really neat thing. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, you, when you talk to her, you talk to her about the homecoming she had, what Linwood did for her uh, this week when she came back. I believe it was on Tuesday. You know, friends and family there, you know, neighbors, uh, nice parade uh, with, uh, you know, sirens blaring and stuff like that, American flags waving. So it was really a great scene uh, over there. And, and I, what I thought was neat was kind of the little kids uh, from, like, the Linwood Recreation Programs kind of, you know, meeting her and, and seeing basically that, hey, you know, if somebody from – you know, my neighborhood from my town can can achieve this type of success. You know, it can kind of inspire other people. So that's what's really great about it. Yeah, it seems to me like she's really just now starting to come to grips with uh, her notoriety. And, and you see that on Tuesday, like you said, it, it's it's probably a weird situation for a 15-year-old to, to look at a 7-year-old and they're looking up at her like like she's almost like a professional player. You know, you don't really think about that when you're a freshman in high school. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's one of the neat things I've always said uh, about covering high school sports is you kind of see these kids grow up, you know, especially the really talented ones. You kind of meet them when they're 14, and then you cover them when they're 18, and, and you know, and then hopefully beyond that. And, and you kind of see it with Kylie someone, you know, becoming more assured, uh, you know, kind of growing into their, into, you know, her role as, as a leader, uh, you know, at, at mainland and, and on the basketball team and, and kind of accepting that responsibility. So that's, you know, that's one of the neat things about high school sports is, is watching these kids grow up. I've often said, you know, you'll, you'll meet a, a, a freshman and, and they'll say, you know, two words to you. <laughs> and then, you know, as a senior, you know, they're, they're, they're polished and talking your ear off. So that's really one of the great things to see is how these kids sort of, mature both on you know the athletic fields and off the athletic fields yeah that's that's one of the things as a sports reporter i mean it's no big deal to us because we're interviewing kids pretty much every day of our lives so it's it's kind of old hat to us but i think sometimes as sports reporters we sometimes forget um how difficult that is to be 14 15 16 years old and to be interviewed knowing what you say is going to be in print the next day or in a video and and it's it can be a pretty scary thing for to be that age and and to try to put your thoughts together that that makes you sound like you know what you're talking about. I mean, it, it's a it's a really neat thing to watch as as kids become more comfortable with that. Yeah, and I, I think you you kind of hit it there a little bit. You know, we do it all the time, and and now that we're in this sort of cell phone era, you know, this didn't happen ten years ago or fifteen years ago. I mean, you'll sometimes see, uh, you know, and I think I noticed it out of the corner of my eye. I noticed it a lot these days. I noticed it with Kylie the other day. You'll be, um, you know, interviewing a player after a game, and mom and dad or brother or sis will be off to the side, you know, videoing you, yeah. interviewing their kid, because it is a big deal. And, you know, that's kind of, you know, that's good for us. We want it, we, we want people to think it's a big deal to talk to us. So, uh you know, I have no no problem with that whatsoever. We want people reading and, and thinking it's a big deal to be in the press of Atlantic City and at pressofac.com. So that, and that's one of the great things about 
covering high school sports is high school athletes want to talk to you, and when you cover pro teams, pro athletes don't always want to talk to the media. <laughs> so right, that's, yeah. uh, that's one of the big differences and, and uh, one of the real you know, neat things about covering high school sports. Talking with Mike McGarry of the Press of Atlantic City. Uh, Mike, we've come to the pretty much the conclusion of the high school sports year. Um, still got the you know the Carpenter Cup teams in action, but it, what really stood out to you about this school year? I know there's a lot to take in, and and you know we could go on for a couple hours of, of a, a recap show. But what are, what are some of the highlights in your mind of of this school year? Wow, I mean, you know, a couple of things. You know, we're in the midst of uh, doing our All Star teams uh, right now, and and I was working on the baseball All Stars yesterday. It'll be online later today and uh, in our paper tomorrow. And one of the things that kind of hit me was just, you know, kind of the overall excellence of, of St. Augustine athletics. You know, I was, you know, St. Augustine baseball team uh, is going to finish number one in our Press Elite 11. They're our baseball team of the year. You know, the St. Augustine boys basketball team was our boys basketball team of the year. The St. Augustine football team was our football team of the year. <laughs> so kind of just the overall you know, excellence of, of St. Augustine sports. And then, you know, I, I just think, you know, the great individual sort of performances uh, that we saw along the way. I mean, Alyssa Aldridge winning the uh, cross-country title for the uh, for the second straight season. You know, Amanda Noonan of uh, Ocean City, you know, uh, winning, you know, the same event at the Swimming Meet of Champions for four straight years. The, the Mainland Regional Boys Swimming Team and the dominance that they had uh, with uh, Devin Lasco, a really tremendous season. You know, the, the Egg Harbor Township softball team putting together, you know, a, a, a two-year tremendous run. You know, Kate Antonucci, you know, defending his Meet of Champions javelin throw, uh, you know, the javelin title at the Outdoor Track and Field Meet of Champions by winning it on the last throw. I mean, it's just really kind of, um, you know, a historic – so, you know, the Ocean City girls basketball team and, and Grace Sacco making that shot against Middle Township uh, to win the Cape Atlantic League championships where she kind of dribbled out there, dribbled out the last two minutes and then drove and won that game in overtime at Stockton. And, you know, Bridget Rusky of Middle Township setting, you know, all sorts of lacrosse records and leading the Panthers to a South Jersey title. So I think when you look back at the year, and really think about it. I mean, and that's just you know seven or eight really historic great things off the top of my head. It really, the um, the quality of of play by the high school kids is really around here is really just tremendous, and in a lot of cases, just historic. This uh, you know, I guess it's a sixteen seventeen school year. I think, Mike, that's really one thing that that stood out to me is just how good the cape atlantic league is in so many sports right now and it and, and we're seeing it in in kids that are getting big time college scholarship i mean you talk about bo melton going to Rutgers, amanda noonan you know off to tennessee so that you know we're we're producing a lot of uh really top level athletes here in south jersey area yeah you, you mentioned just this week alone so, uh, you know, we welcome back uh, Kylie Watson, who's a member of the U16 team. And then, um, you know, I believe that same day, you know, Buddy Kennedy from Millville High School, the Arizona Diamondbacks, take him in the fifth round of the Major League Baseball player draft, the 142nd pick in the country. And then, uh, you know, about a half hour later, you know, the Angels take uh, Buna Regional graduate Denny Brady uh, in, in the, uh, I believe it's the seventh round of the draft. So really just, uh, you know, that, that's, that sort of hour span right there on a Tuesday afternoon kind of shows you the impact that the local athletes are, are having. You have a parade for a girl who's, you know, on the United States national team, and then two kids get drafted relatively <laughs> high up in the draft. So that kind of shows you it right there, basically. Mike, what, what's been, uh, you know, a couple of your favorite memories? I mean, one thing that will stand out to me for a long time is going to be, and, and obviously the Holy Spirit football team doesn't want to remember that, but the way that state championship game ended with a, a 50-yard hook and lateral to win that game for modern day, I mean, that's, that's the kind of play that, that guys will talk about for the next 20 years. 
Yeah, on the matter day side, I'm sure. You know, the, <laughs> the Holy Spirits. I don't know what you know what, what they'll think about that. But that obviously was a great, you know, a, a, a great high school football game. I just remember sort of the great games. Again, I go back to you know the o, the Ocean City Girls basketball team with their run through the state tournament. Uh, you know, not only did they win the Cape Atlantic League game against Middle Township in, in thrilling fashion. You know, they beat Mainland and win a South Jersey title. Then they beat Ewing in a great ga- a great overtime game to sort of get to the state final. And, and they uh, lose the state final. You, you know, uh, they lose a tough game in the state final, but just a great season there. The St. Augustine Prep boys basketball team with their, you know, two-year run of success, uh, really playing, playing great basketball. You know, I remember being up at uh, – you know, one of the things I remember, you know, because this will never happen again, is I remember covering the Atlantic City Boys basketball team and the St. Augustine basketball team later uh, later in the season going up and playing St. Anthony of Jersey City up in Jersey City. And, of course, St. Anthony closes uh, at the end of this school year and one of the great, you know, high school basketball dynasties in the country comes to an end with that school closing. But, you know, I remember Atlantic City competing in that against St. Anthony over Christmas. And I remember, you know, St. Augustine nearly beating uh, St. Anthony. Uh, Marlon Hodges shot bouncing off the front of the rim, you know, and they lose by a point uh, to St. Anthony in March. So, I mean, those are just a few of uh, few of the highlights there. You know, I remember Alyssa Aldridge up at, you know, on uh, Cross Country Day, you know, with kind of her mainland regional teammates and fans, you know, gathered around her and cheering her on. And, you know, the Egg Harbor Township 4x8 uh, relay team up at the Penn Relays could be in the fastest team in the United States and, and walking off the, uh, you know, the Franklin Field infield with their watches and, and, and the kind of pride that they had in their achievement. So really, really just, you know, when you think about it, it's, uh, it's almost staggering, you know, just – Something great basically happened, you know, just about every day on, on the high school sports beat in, in 2016-17. I don't know how we're going to top it next year, but uh, we got a couple months well, to figure well, it out. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, um, and and this is kind of, and this is another great thing about covering high school sports. Is someone said to me, you know, you, you'll think back and you'll say, well, you'll never see this again, or you'll never see a player like that again, or you'll never see someone like that again. Well. You know what? There's always somebody else coming along, and and you know you you might not see it might not be in the same sport, it might be in a different sport, but I don't know. Right now in Linwood, Summers Point, Egg Harbor Township, Byland, there's there's some seven, eight, nine, ten year old kid <laughs> who's going to be great at some sport and is going to do something in four or five years that we've never seen before or haven't seen in ten or twenty years, and, and that's just that's the beauty of high school sports. There's always, it's a constant rebuilding uh, or reloading. There's always somebody else uh, coming along, basically. Great stuff, as always, Mike. We appreciate it. And uh, take a day off one of these days, huh? You've earned it. I'll, I'll <laughs> see what I can do. Maybe in a, in a couple weeks, a couple weeks, we'll finish out the All-Stars, and, and then we'll see what we can do. But I appreciate you having me on, Sully. Thanks take, for Take fear. July 4th off. Have a burger and a beer and, and – uh, Relax, because you know fall's going to be here before we know it. Sounds sounds like a deal. I'll, <laughs> I'll definitely do that. Thanks for uh, always coming on throughout the whole season, Mike. We enjoyed it. Uh, my pleasure, Sully. Thanks for having me on. I really enjoyed this, uh, uh, you know, this time and the conversation, stuff like that. It's always great to talk high school sports. Thanks for a few. Great stuff, Mike. Have a great weekend. All right. See you later. That was Mike McGarry of the Press for Atlantic City.